I don't have any chemicals in my in my kitchens or or anything. So I use vinegar significantly to clean. So I use towels and vinegar. I just put it on my countertops and then clean it. I use it on, you'd have to check the if different kinds of granite or countertops that you've got, whether or not it's safe for the countertop. But for me, I have granite at home and I wipe down with vinegar all the time. It does not, does not affect it at all. In fact, I feel like it's really, it always feels really um, clean. And it, you know, sometimes when you get granite and you get um, the oils and stuff build up on it, it starts to look streaky. I feel like when I use vinegar, it does not at all, it does not at all do that. I also do an Eco Thursday um, video. So every Thursday I put out a, a 60 second video on something Eco to, to try at your house. Last week I did um, how to clean stainless steel appliances. And I basically take your vinegar and I put it, don't put the vinegar on directly, but I put the vinegar on the towel, and clean the stainless steel. And when I'm done with it, I use a different towel of course, I put olive oil on the towel and then shine it up afterwards. Wipe it all off and you don't have all of those expensive cleaners for the stainless steel and it works perfectly fine. It takes all of the stainless steel anyways does not hold bacteria but it does get fingerprints and um, food on it. I don't know. I had three sons and they um, and their friends left they clean the refrigerator and then within 30 seconds I'd be like, why did I just do it? So <laughs> I'd have food and everything all over the place. So it was very good for cleaning, for cleaning that up. It's also used as a disinfectant. So I'll use the, this as a disinfectant to clean my toilet bowls. You can use some baking soda. You can use some baking soda to also throw it in your toilet water to use the brush to clean, make the, make the stuff white. I do not use dryer sheets. I take this and squeeze a tablespoon or a little bit more, depending on how large my load is, inside of my inside of my um, with my with my washing machine, and I don't have any static cling on my clothes, even towels, sheets, whatever. You may have to try it depending on what kind of material you have with your towels and your sheets. You may have to try to put a little bit more in, maybe a little less, but it doesn't smell like vinegar. And like I said, if you don't like the smell, put lavender or uh, mint in it, and it'll change the aroma. So you put that in the water in the washing machine? I put it in the water in the washing machine. Exactly, and I don't have to use it. You know, like I said earlier, it's $2.39 for two gallons of vinegar. So that's less than a penny a dryer sheet for a load of laundry. So when people sometimes say to me that organic food sometimes is, is a little more expensive than regular food, I'm like, yeah, but if you take away all of the money you're paying on these chemicals, then you have the money to do on your, you have this money to spend on your, your food. Drain cleaner. So, a little high school science here. Put some baking soda, take the, take the plug out of the drain, put some baking soda into the drain, fill it up till you can't see the drain anymore, and throw vinegar in it. And it foams up just like everything else. If you have a foams up, and then it will eventually wash everything down the drain. If you have a drain that's a little bit more um, plugged or it requires a little bit more, just fill it up, put half or a quarter of a gallon of uh, vinegar down it, then fill it up again, put another quarter of a gallon of vinegar down it, and let it set all night. And in the morning, run hot water down it, it'll, it'll back up a little bit, but then eventually wash its way all the way through. It just kills everything that's inside of that drain. No more Drano, no more liquid plumber, no more any of that stuff. And again, like I said, you get to play high school science, which is what I really like. And there's one more example as to how to utilize vinegar, and that is save some vinegar and use it to clean out your coffee pot, your iron, anything that you have that's an appliance that you run water through. You know, here in Arizona, we have very hard water, and so the vinegar helps clean that out. And I know you guys were talking a little bit offline that we use it to clean the tower gardens too. So many different things you can use vinegar for. And I am so excited that you guys came. Thanks again so very much. Visit my website and learn more about my service and follow me on social media to connect more.